hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider to subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed for stopping by thank you very much indeed for clicking i want to show you what we got here we got this sandbar this is sunny a 3000 sandbar 360 spatial sand mapping 3.1 channel sandbar with dolby audio dts and this sandbar deserves your attention what we want to do is unbox this sandbar check it out see what is inside i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this sandbar i'm excited Remote control. The power cable. HDMI cable. Another cable here. Triple A battery. This one is setup guide, and the menu here. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, this is amazing stuff. Look nice and beautiful heavy beautiful Let's see what it looks like wow look at that very nice a 3000 3.1 channel sound by 360 spatia sound mapping Dolby Atmos DTS X 360 reality audio see what it looks like and this is quite heavy with iron grill in front of it and uh, the power cable goes in here and this end you have the e arc hdmi e arc and hdmi out tv optical so all the parts are in here okay this is quite a heavy sandbar very beautiful Just gonna tell you a bit of information about this sandbar. This sandbar is immersive surround sound from a sandbar. A3000 has 3.1 channel, three front speakers. Include a center speaker for clear dialogue plus a built-in dual subwoofer for deep bass with vertical surround engine and S Force Pro. It clears visually surround sound that comes around of you so you can fully enjoy and trail of Dolby Atmos and DTS S. Surround made simple. Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is Sony's A3000 sandbar, 3.1 channel sandbar with Dolby Audio, DTXX, Reality Audio, 360 Spatia sound mapping. 240 voltage audio power this sandbar got five speakers and built-in subwoofer it got three center speakers 
what I want to show you is how to hook this soundbar up to your TV using HDMI cable. This soundbar can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, HDMI. You can stream music with your mobile phone with this soundbar. You can also connect it up to your laptop. This soundbar deserves your attention. What we want to do is we're going to measure this soundbar, then hook it up to this TV. HDMI cable is included in the packaging, but if you want to connect this soundbar with optical cable, then you need to buy the optical cable. And this soundbar is 95 centimeter. The width is 13 centimeter. Now, to hook this up, first, what we need to do is we need to unplug the sandbar and also unplug the TV. Okay. Now, just gonna remove the optical. So, hook up this with HDMI E ARC. Okay. So, go in. To HDMI, okay. So to HDMI in, okay. You have optical USB and HDMI. Now the next thing to do is you need to turn the TV around. Now take the, the other end of the cable, okay, go in to HDMI here, okay, so go into HDMI into EAC, okay, so this is where the other cable goes, the second part of it. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to switch the sandbar, put the sandbar and the TV. Plug both back on. Okay. Now the next thing to do is we need to switch on the sandbar and also switch the TV on. Only then you wait until the sandbar is ready. Okay, and now we need to use the remote control to select TV. Okay, and it's now showing us TV here. Now switch the TV on. Um, has pushed people towards illegal lenders. There's now, an, uh, an event this is the audio. Today. So, BBC what you, you need to do, if you go to your TV settings, loan sharks, uh, on the condition of anonymity, they spoke to BBC Newsnight. Let's hear what uh, they had to say. If you go to your TV That's settings, illegal. Close your windows, your door, open nose, smashed up eye sockets. They're going to wish they paid me. Go to your TV setting, then scroll down to the audio. You can see HDMI app device. So this is how to hook this up. So this sound banner is um, connected via HDMI app. It's a beautiful sound bar and it deserves your attention. This is Sony A3000, 3.1 channel sound bar. This sound bar got five speakers and three center speakers. This sound bar is with 240 audio power dolby audio dts surround system 360 reality audio 360 spatia sound mapping this soundbar you can hook it up to you can connect it to your tv via optical cable hdmi cable is included in the packaging you can also connect this using bluetooth what I'm going to do now is to show you how to connect this sandbar up to your TV using optical cable. But before we do that, just gonna show you, uh, this is the audio. It's nice and beautiful sandbar. You can connect this sandbar to your mobile device, play music, stream music for your mobile device. You can connect it to, with 
it's with Chromecast built in. Nice Samba. With this is nice sandbar with acoustic center sync technology, perfectly align the sandbar with your Sony Bravia TV. And stream music with Spotify Connect, Chromecast, and Apple or Apple AirPlay 2. This sandbar got built in subwoofer with high resolution audio support. Preset mode, you can change it to sound field mode immersive audio enhancement, night mode and voice mode, the remote control so you can change it to sound field as well, okay, this is the home, you can select night mode using the night mode and voice, you can use the remote control to select the specific mode you want, support audio files, audio processing, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Dual Mono, Dolby True HD, DTX, DTS9624, DTS ES, audio feature X Force Pro, front surround, vertical surround engine, 360 Spatia sound mapping, TV wireless connection, can also connect it with HDMI, EAC, Bluetooth, wi built in Wi Fi, work with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Chromecast built in. Apple Airplay. It's beautiful stuff. Now, this soundbar is currently in Bluetooth. Okay, but I'm going to connect this to TV. Okay, and to do this, I'm going to use LG TV. So, what we need to do is we need to switch the soundbar off. Now, so this cable okay, goes to this cable, this optical cable goes in. Okay, so to hook it up, you just need to push the cable inside here into the optical section and see what where it goes in. Okay, so it goes into the, the first port, the bottom one, the first port on the bottom one, use the optical cable. Now the next thing to do is uh, take the other end of the cable, okay, this end of the cable, plug it in, hook it up to the back of your TV, here where it's written digital, optical digital audio out. Okay, it's in. Now I'm just gonna plug the TV antenna. Okay, the next thing to do is you need to plug the sound bar to the power and also plug in the TV to the socket. Okay. So once you connect the cable the next thing to do you need to switch the sound bar on and also switch the TV on now this is the TV audio so go to your TV settings go to your TV setting and scroll down to the audio now the next thing to do you need to select TV okay from the sound bar and it's now on TV so scroll down to the sound so scroll down to sound, you can see the sound is currently showing TV speaker. You need to select on it. Okay, then go to the scroll to the side to the optical and select optical. Here we go. And this is the audio. If you look here, it will show you is an optical. Just use the remote control to increase the volume so this is the audio and once it's an article you can only control it using 
the sun bar remote control. This is the audio. So it's nice. You're putting. Oh, thank you so much. Um, you're then I go to the field. And again, no. I just hear conservative MPs no. time and time again. Long on analysis, short on answers. The question for us is, how do you get that? Investment? So this is the audio. Thank so you very much indeed. In and stay blessed. Thank you. Across the country.